Okay, this program is video is just in regards to an upper limb strengthening program that's going to be safe for your lower back. So the things I'd suggest you do for an upper limb strengthening if you have a back problem, or also if you had a shoulder problem, um, will be a bicep curl, but we'd like you to do this up against the wall. The advantage of doing it against the wall is you can hold the shoulders back and down rather than a preacher curl position. And for the back, you can turn an abdominals flat in your lower back, nice and stable through this position. Triceps in the gym, what we'd like you to do is a, a bar down here. You can turn on your abdominals, keep your back not too extended, but in a neutral position and a push down. A seated, a seated cable row, again in this position, good posture. We don't want you going backwards and forwards and we don't want you to extend the elbows for the last 15 degrees because that'll bring your whole torso forward. So in this inner range position, the same, you can do a seated um, machine pullback. We get you to do a lat pull down. I prefer you to do that with lower back in a kneeling position. Using a cable with the triangle, stabilise through here, and it's a pull down like so. We're happy to do a kneeling straight arm pull down, side arm pull down. When you're doing a bench press, uh, instead of having your feet traditionally Doing a bench, you have them on the floor. We then went through the stage of it up onto it, up onto the chair. We prefer to have your knees to your chest, which flattens your lower back, and then you can go through and do these. Um, a decline press, you can also do in this sort of position. Decline like so, and rather than doing a full, a full. Uh, military press, do it on a 45 degree angle, but think about flattening the back into that position and just give it some support. You can also use that and push your feet if you want into something just to help try and flatten the back a little bit. Uh, the last, uh, the last uh, couple of things we'll do for an upper limb strengthening program, I don't want you to do pull ups, we're not going to get you to do any squats uh, to start with. Um, if you do go and do some squats down the track, what we will get you to really think about doing that most people actually tend to do incorrectly is they'll lose that last bit of back extension as they go down. So try and keep the back nicely extended. And often putting a couple of weights on the ground on either side of the thing you're doing a squat with will allow you not to have to go down too far. Uh, that's all. Thank you.